Hello there, Sherlock. Oh, hi there. Hi there. Oh, you can hear me okay? Hold, hold on. I can't hear you. You need to uh, unmute your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, now you've unmuted. Right, okay then. So, um, hi, uh, I was expecting uh, a man with a name like Sherlock, but I got a girl. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a detective. Anyway, um, so you have a, um, a trial class today, and um, what we usually do is a, a mock test. So we normally do parts one, two, and three of the um, IELTS test. Then after that, I can give you some feedback, and you can ask me some questions. So are you happy to do that? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. So um, have you taken the IELTS test before? Yes. Okay, so you know what to expect then. And are you planning to take a test soon, uh, like this month or next month? Mm, no, maybe, at, oh yeah, next month. Okay, next month. Right. Okay, then. So we can start now. So first of all, can you tell me something about your hobbies and your interests? Mm. I like to being watch the um, animation, maybe. Uh, and uh, maybe I want to do some sports like uh, dry diving um, and uh, <laughs> Take a, a bicycle. <laughs> okay then. And uh, how about social media? Do you and your friends like using social media? Uh, yes, I do. I usually use them. Okay. And um, do you think that you use social media too much? Uh, maybe because I also spend a lot of time on them, and uh, which which um, maybe uh, uh, distract me from my homework, and that bothers me a lot. Oh, okay. And uh, how about your friends? Are they the same? Do they spend too much time on social media? Yes, because there are too much press on us, and uh, we both of us want to um, to uh, to do something to relieve on wind of ourselves, so that we could have a better mind. And the master is to is from the media. Yes. Okay. Okay, and then um, would you like to work in social media? Uh, uh, maybe just to share some music with my friends and uh, we will talk about or, uh, or thinking and uh, maybe just to uh, share the movie we, we watch we watch the next month and uh, um, to create something um, like the actors and uh, the um, and the um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, yeah, but do you, yeah, but do you want to work like uh, your job? You know, um, in social media, do you want to make it your job to work for a social media company? No, because my major is law, <laughs> and, and I want to be a lawyer. And uh, to work for, working for a social media company may be not the best uh, um, position I want to get. And oh. I can get more pay payment from my from uh, for, to from um, the lawsuit. Yes. Okay. And um, so what are the popular social media in China? Mm, 
maybe Weibo and uh, Xiaohongshu, uh, which is uh, popular in the team. Uh, okay. And, um, um, okay, so now let's move on to part two. So let me share my screen with you now. Okay. Um, So here you can see the topic on the screen there, Sherlock. So um, I'd like you to describe a popular place for sports that you've been to. So you should say where it is, when you went there, what you did there, and explain how you felt about this place. So, um, okay, so you have a minute to prepare and take notes, and then you have one to two minutes to talk on this topic. So um, you can start taking notes now. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. I can't see the screen. Oh, really? Let me try again. Can you see the screen now? Oh, yeah, yes, I can. Okay, if you're ready, you can start talking now. Um, I think so. Uh, I I usually um, uh, do some sports at the docks in my neighborhood, and uh, um, it's uh, actually it's just uh, uh, consists of several roads in several paths passes in my in the district and uh, mm, there are a lot of flowers and uh, plants um, um, along the road so it's a good place to walk and uh, what i do is just uh, walking and talking with my friends um, and uh, and uh, mm, which uh, maybe walk with them just where uh, and release my um, pleasure pressure um, and uh, uh, keep a better mood and what you uh, the garden uh, there are so many memories up in that garden so I always feel uh, feel released and uh, um, happy there that's all I uh, that's my feeling about that garden. Mm. Oh, okay then. So, um, do, do people do any sports there? Um, I know you go for a walk, but does anybody, do you see anybody playing basketball or badminton or anything like that in that garden? No, no, because the path is very narrow, yes. So we can just uh, um, cycling and uh, walking, and the cycling is not welcomed because it were it's not secure. Uh, That's true. Okay then. Right then. So uh, let's move on now to part uh, uh, three. Then so I'll stop sharing the screen okay. now. So um, first of all, then. Um, 
Do young people like to do sports? Mm, actually, it depends. It depends on. Um, some people like sports just like their lives, and they want to. They um, they immer they always they are always immersing immersing themselves in the gym and uh, um, the best their um, social media is all about their muscles to sh just show their muscle and uh, um, a healthy uh, a healthy um, body maybe uh, what they want and uh, maybe they can also um, unwind unwind from it uh, and uh, actually uh, the uh and uh, the sport bring them a lot and uh, some people just like me don't like uh, the um, fair uh, the fair uh, fair sports we just uh, walk and uh, cycling and uh, running may be too difficult for me um because i'm a little lazy and i don't to uh, uh pants on and uh, like a dog and uh, uh, and uh, I don't want to have have too much um, swear uh, so I must watch my clothes uh, sweat okay uh, uh, yeah okay so what about children then uh, what are the benefits of doing sports for children Can you hear me? Do you mean to repeat? Your connection is not very yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pardon. What, yeah. What are the benefits of doing sport for children? Sorry, sorry, the, the network maybe is not so good. Yeah, okay, let me try Could one more time. Repeat it? Yeah, yeah, okay. What are the benefits of doing sport for children? What are the uh, benefits? Sorry, what's his benefit? Yeah, benefit. Oh, benefit. Benefits, yeah. Benefit. Uh, doing sports for children. Um, firstly, the of course they can of the course children can um ha, have a healthy um they, uh, uh, maybe children can be more healthier for through doing sports and uh, mm. um, and uh, they can get get more friends from it uh, because uh, they, some sports like uh, uh, such as badminton and ping pong uh, needs um, two people or more to um, to join in uh, and uh, they can share uh, have uh, they can share a good have share a good memory about it and um, uh, then uh, uh, Besides, um, uh, the uh, ch children may be concerned about their uh, hate, and uh, the doing sports may um, may help them to get get more uh, to to be stronger and uh, uh, higher. That's what they care, uh, and. Um, Okay, and the uh, next question then is, um, uh, is it necessary to provide public places for people to do sports? Uh. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's necessary to um, provide places for people to do sports because uh, 
because the city now is too, um, there, there, are, there are real places for people to do sports nowadays. And uh, um, if, if the um, government can um, um, provide some places for them, uh, they can, they, they can, they will have the chance to improve their their healthy, and uh, maybe they can get more from it, just like, uh, mm, no, uh, like making more friends and so on. Okay, and uh, what do you think about companies that donate sports venues for poor children? Uh, I think it's very kind for them to um, donate the sports, uh, sports apparel to to the poor children because they may, uh, uh, because the poor children may uh, may, uh, may be difficult to pay for them, and uh, uh, if they get them, they will use them more, and uh, they can improve their the sports uh, scares and uh, uh, will um, will uh, improve uh, uh, improve their health health health. Okay then. Okay, you've now completed the full test there, Sherlock. So tell me, um, how do you feel about the test and your performance today? Mm, not so good, maybe. Really? What well, What did you find for, for my appearance? But what did you feel find difficult then about today's test? Uh, it's hard to say difficult, uh, but I'm not very uh, I'm unsatisfied with my rep uh, answer. Mm, I can. I think maybe I can improve it from practice. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So, well, well, let's have a look then at your answers now. So, um, so we'll go through starting with part one. So, um, let me see. Here we are. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So you're looking for like three to four sentences in part one, and then maybe a bit longer in part three. Well, they say five to ten, but Perhaps ten sentences is a bit over the top, but but yeah, a bit longer anyway. In part three, usually. So, um, so first of all, I asked you um, a warm up question about your hobbies. So you like to um, watch the uh, or animation, and you want to do some sports like I forgot what you said there, but uh, and then. Okay, so do you and your friends like using social media? So your answer was a bit short here, so just expand a bit. So yes, I, I usually use them, but yeah, tell us what for. So is it for like uh, uploading photos, watching videos? Um, do you like get chatting to people? Um, yeah, all sorts of things that you might use social media for. Do you like just scrolling through and watching looking at your friends' accounts and things. And, um, yeah, just give a bit more uh, excl exclamation why, and then perhaps mention your friends as well and what they do on it. And then uh, do you use it too much? Uh, so uh, so you spend a lot of time uh, on them, which is disattract me from my homework, you said. So, uh, so yeah, uh, not disattract. Uh, uh, me, but uh, distract me. It was a slightly wrong. So distract. Distra so it, oh, yeah, distract. Yeah, so it distracts me from my uh, yeah homework. Okay. Um, or yeah, or your study. So um, yeah, because it often every time there's a notification, probably your phone pings and you wonder what it is, and uh, yeah, you then um, keep having to, you know, can't really focus on your. So, yeah, a lot of people have the same problem. And then I, I mentioned your friends as well. Uh, yes, and you said there are too much pressure. For, uh, so, uh, so, so yeah, you, you should say uh, not 
there are too much pressure uh but you need um Uh, yeah, because pressure is uncountable, it's classed as an it, so you can say there is too much pressure uh, for us, so we need to, uh, and then you said, uh, un uh, okay, you pronounced it unwind, uh, which I can understand, but it's actually pronounced unwind, uh, can you say unwind? Unwind, unwind. unwind. yeah, unwind. so it's, it's like, um, you know when you wind up a clock or something, it gets tight, and then, then you release it, and then it unwinds. It gets, it starts to release. So unwind is to, uh, yeah, release tension. So you, you can write, and um, yeah, it's like, yeah, winding up a clock. Uh, not, uh, not the wind in the weather, you know, like that. So it's that that wind. Winding. Sorry, what is what means winding? Yeah, winding yeah. Up? yeah. I'm, I'm just showing you the pronunciation. Why? Uh, oh, well, you won't know because you're digital age. But yeah, in the old days, you got a clock and you you wound it up before. Do you know those kind of clocks? Um, you have you seen them? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. The, the, um, yeah. yeah, and then they, oh. yeah, you have to wind them up again. Yeah, my auntie and uncle used to collect them and they all day have to wind up antique clocks. But yeah, modern clocks are all digital, they don't, and batteries and so on. But anyway, um, do you want to work in social media? Um, okay. Um, oh. Okay, so you said no. Um, Oh, yeah, you misunderstood the question, first of all. You said, maybe just share some music, maybe just share some, like, watch the next month to cri to criticise, some or to critice something. Uh, yeah, I think you mean um, uh, to um, criticise something, maybe? Criticise. Uh, yeah, or to um, anyway, but yeah, you didn't. You misunderstood the question. I was a bit puzzled with, what, with your answer, so I had to rephrase it. And then you said, "No, my major is law, and uh, yeah, it wouldn't make sense to go then and work in. So you have to study so hard to get your law degree and get qualified, and then you don't want to waste it. You want to uh, use it. And then uh, yeah, you said Weibo and so on is popular. Yeah, but need to, to expand a bit more though. Like, um, why are they popular? Uh, you got the little red book, haven't you? And WeChat, Weibo. I hear all these ones, Billy Billy. But yeah, why are they popular? Um, uh, give us a bit more explanation. So you've got to say the point. Yeah, it's popular. But give the reason why. Do you like social media? Yes, I do. But then give the reason why and explain your reason. Or you can give an example if you have a good one and then conclude like, yeah. So, yeah, if you use to social media too much, um, yeah, what, why is it? You probably, Maybe you have too many friends or too many followers always uh, contacting you. Perhaps you need to simplify your life. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is a difficult one, that one. Anyway, let's have a look at part two. We got the uh, popular place. So I do usually do some sports in my neighborhood. Uh, it consists of several uh, in my. I can't, so there are lots of flowers. So this, so is this garden close to your home? Pardon? Is this garden you talked about, is it close to your home? Yeah, it's in my neighborhood. Well, it's in your neighborhood, right. Okay, yeah. so you said in, in your neighborhood, that's fine. If you want to uh, get a bit higher score, you can say it's in my uh, vicinity or it's close oh. or it's close proximity to my home. Um, and then you are having a bit less common uh, vocabulary. Or you could say... Um, and you try an idiom like it's on my doorstep. Um, that means it's close to your home. But it's, yeah, it's not, obviously not literally on your doorstep. Or it's just a stone's throw away. 
Um, so these are idiomatic expressions and um, they can help you um, um, yeah they can can help boost your vocabulary score the examiner's ears will prick up and they'll start lights will start uh, going on in his brain and then he'll start flashing number sevens <laughs> out of his eye or something like that instead of 5.5 or 6 or whatever you know so it will help you stand out from the rest uh, if you say uh, things like that uh, so it's a good place to walk when i'm walking and talking maybe just walking with them it will release my pressure okay so you said this later in part three as well release my pressure uh it's okay um and um it can you can but yeah you could say an idiomatic phrase like i can let off steam uh forget about my cares and um yeah and then um get away from the you can say get away from the hustle and bustle it's the uh big city um yeah yeah oh yeah yeah, so that's, um, then you're impressing the examiner more with your vocabulary, if you can say things like that. And, or, or get away from the rat, rat, the rat race, <laughs> uh, which is, um, get away from the, the rat races where people are, um, all trying to, uh, compete with each other, you know, and, um, climb the corporate ladder. Yeah, so we call it the rat race where it's always pressure to uh yeah. compete with everybody and and get ahead so you get this kind of pressure in places like new york city i suppose or london or shanghai or hong kong you know there's that kind of pressure with the hustle and bustle and the rat race so uh okay and then um uh, and keep my betterment okay we wouldn't say keep my betterment um uh is that Keep betterment is um i suppose it is a word but um yeah oh it's, you could say um to keep my uh keep my sanity you could say this perhaps but would probably say more or keep my keep my uh um uh to keep calm i suppose to keep calm um so it's good for my uh well-being you could say good for my well-being well, yeah, I suppose you could say betterment. It just sounds a bit strange to me, that sort. It's not, um, uh, you don't usually use it for the, to apply to yourself. It's like, we use it like for the betterment of whole society. Uh, we won't say it's good for my betterment. It's not um, quite, it just sounds, uh, yeah, it just doesn't uh, uh, collocate when you apply it to yourself. So you probably would say good for my well-being. Anyway, we got part um, three then. So um, again, in part three, you talked about people doing sports and they want them all about their muscle and a healthy body. So yeah, you could say a phrase like they want to keep in shape. Um, and um, yeah, maybe they want to... Um, uh, what what else? Yeah, they, they work out. Yeah, you said the um the same mistake again about unwind, uh, unwind. You you said again, and um, oh yeah, you oh, don't, yeah. So you don't want to be part of um, you're a little lazy, and I don't want to uh, uh pant like a dog. Is that what you said? <laughs> oh, that was quite funny. Pant like a dog. Yeah, we've got like <laughs> is that you will give okay, so you don't want to uh, overdo it, okay, or uh, sweat is the other word, you don't want to sweat, sweat, oh, no, 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 never, uh, hot. yeah, maybe that's it, <laughs> okay, well, uh, oh, dearie me, anyway, uh. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you have to change your clothes. So the pronunciation is sweat. Um, so you don't want to... Uh, uh, it's pronounced um, sweat like that, not sweet, yeah? So, uh, yeah. yeah, or get too... Uh, I don't want to get too sweaty. And then, um, yeah, you might worry. You st 
um, start smelling and yeah. Okay, and then so what are the benefits of sports for children? Okay, it's uh, they could they could be more healthier. So um, so oh, children can have a healthy. Um, well, yeah, not yeah, yeah. You need a noun there, so children uh, can uh, be healthy, not can have a healthy or. Oh, it's a ch uh, children, yeah. So, and then for doing sports like badminton, ping pong, they can uh, share a good memory about it. And oh, it's good for their um, uh, height. Uh, you pronounced it a bit like hate. Um, so it's not hate, it's oh, um, yeah, height. height, yeah. So it's um, height, height, yeah. So they want to get taller then. Or higher, we won't say higher, but we could say taller. Especially those boys that want to be a basketball player, those poor boys who are just too short. You know, it's it's not going to happen, and they keep trying, and then uh, one day they're going to have to realise they're going to have to do a a normal job like most people. They're not they're not Yao Ming, okay. And then, but <laughs> you probably know a lot of boys like that, I suppose. Um, anyway, um. So, uh, anyway, so they want to be stronger, higher, okay. So they, uh, yeah, they, it's good for their physique, uh, is how we pronounce it. They want to have a better physique. Right, okay, yeah, you could explain more about this, I suppose, like health. Uh, so when we're doing part three, um, you need to... Um, the idea is good for their health and then explain why is it good for their health. So when we exercise, we get our blood circulating, we get fresh air, we get sunlight and um, we tend to be more relaxed and having fun. We're not so stressed. Um, so it's good for our health and then we might, we'll have a better immune system, not likely to get sick so easily. Okay. So, so yeah, okay. So, um, and then we got. Uh, is it necessary to uh, build these sports places? Uh, yeah, and in this one, you said uh, it's good for their healthy. Uh, um, and but here you need the um, um, you need the noun. So you would say good for their health. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yeah, and in the end, yeah, you mentioned the poor children. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, you also perhaps could look at from the aspect of the companies and why they would do it. Yeah, it's obviously very kind of them. But these companies, um, they're not just doing it um, for nothing. Uh, they, they want to have a better public image. So when they do this kind of thing, uh, it's good for their reputation. People say it's their perhaps social responsibility uh, because they have vast profits and uh, they can give back to society. And uh, sometimes they do it because of tax incentive. So um, if they don't give money to charity or good causes, then the government will make them pay more tax and then they will just do it anyway. So, um, so yeah, the, go the government give companies a chance to do this thing to, um, and then they will pay less tax. So um, that's one of the reasons why it, it does happen. Um, anyway, let's just have a quick look then. Uh, we score you your, on your performance today. So, um, oh. yeah, so uh, let me see your... Um, so you have the rubrics and we've got the fluency. Um, yeah, at times you were willing to speak at length. Yeah, there been times in part one, it was a tad short. But in part three, yeah, you put a lot more effort into it. You struggled perhaps on the last question to think what to say there. Um, so um, is there a bit of hesitation? Yeah, um, um, self-correction occasionally, um, but not too much. 
and then repetition not too much um uh, so just about a six i would say there um uh, and um but yeah to try don't let part one let you down though put in a bit more effort into part one and okay. uh, yeah and then i, I mentioned less common vocabulary and idiomatic vocabulary um yeah, you, you uh, had a, a little, well, you used the word betterment, but maybe not a kind of appropriately. Um, and then, okay. Uh, um, so, yeah, probably, um, yeah, you, you're down with a five or a six, really. Um, well, yeah, but it's kind of... Um, yeah, maybe a five on today's uh, performance. And then um, grammar. Um, yeah, well, I didn't go too much into the grammar there. Uh, but perhaps um, could could have a better with the complex structures. And then the pronunciation, there was that word unwind and hype that caused a bit of a problem. So, so let's see. So yeah, I'd probably put the coherence a six, perhaps vocabulary five, grammar perhaps a six, pronunciation would be a five or a six, I suppose. Um, maybe a five on today's performance. So I, I got it down as 5.5. 5. Um, so what score did you get last time when you took the test? I want to cut a 6.5 scores. Oh, you want to, but but yeah, last oh. time when you took the test, what score did they give you? Mm. You said you took the test before, or not? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They get uh last time next last time they give me five scores. Yeah. Five. Oh, okay. F five. Just five. Not five point five. Oh. Well, if you, if you yeah. went from 5 to 5.5, 5, you made a, a little bit of improvement, perhaps. Uh, but, yeah, you've still got a fair way to go to 6.5. And, and if you have a lot of free time, though, you can put some work in and um, work on building your vocabulary, and that will give you more flexibility. And then you're more likely to uh, improve your um, um, fluency. And then, um, yeah, the... The pronunciation at times you're going to have to check a few words if you've not heard them before like unwind um uh, yeah maybe you have you've seen it written down but you've not heard the pronunciation so yeah you obviously need a bit more exposure to english and more practice as well so uh, yeah. okay then um